in your voice or anything like that you feel a little like of oh, what the fuck have i just said and why the <laughs> fuck am i saying that yeah and like oh uh, yeah so i want to know from an out- out- outsider's perspective mm-hmm. i mean well, yeah why would you treat i like weird shit let's be honest <laughs> i love weird things i've always loved weird shit um i'm i'm not into the whole norm of anything um so that that right there I, I love the weird the weirdness of it and then once at first now at first i just listened before i'd even looked at any of your work i just listened to his his podcast with you and i like the way you spoke like you were legitimate 100 yourself Thank you weren't you, trying you know like if you listen to a lot of people in general they yeah. when they're in front of a camera in front of a microphone they put on a facade you know they're yeah. trying to act proper and all this type of stuff say the right words and you're like fuck that this is fuck my that. thoughts this is me <laughs> you know yeah so that that the the authentic the um the authenticity of what is it word i can't think of the word the honesty no, definitely true, man. yeah the honesty the authenticity as well yes i get it man yeah so so that got me from there and then i pulled up your your art pieces and i was like holy shit this guy this guy ha- had to try. so this guy sucks. this guy's got something so like i looked you up on instagram and i i didn't think at all i was going to get a reply from you but we started okay. talking and and me and john uh stayed in touch i, I talked to john every day just about um But yeah, like I had to at least ask cuz me and John were wondering, "Hey man, I wonder if he does prints. I wonder if he does prints." And finally asked you and sure enough, boom, you do prints. So I got mine and John's going to get his at some point, I'm sure. Um But yeah, your shit's just great. I just love the the way you go about it, the way the way you present your the way you yeah, you present yourself Uh, you're honest from the get go and it's just fucking it's phenomenal i love every second thank of you. it thank you man thank you bro <laughs> i love you too man <laughs> i love you too oh i, I wish my girlfriend said such nice things about me <laughs> <laughs> well so 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 what what you been up to today is it's i know it's night time for you so uh what did i do today man so uh i basically i start painting at around 11 pm mm-hmm. and uh i end up uh wrapping up at around 6 am or 5 or 6 okay. am so that's what i do you know when the i mean everyone's silent there's nobody knocking on my door yeah, and yeah. while the while yeah while the dogs are barking i mean i i like to paint at that time so that's what i did and then after that i woke up at around 3 pm And uh yeah when i wake up man i just fucking look for cigarettes dude where the <laughs> fuck is that <laughs> and, <laughs> and the second the second i find one is when my day starts i don't know yoga and shit like that but uh, yeah man yeah so <laughs> i get my cigarette up i have a couple of uh, i don't know say green tea with honey or something like that Yeah. And I start my day, man. I my day started and uh, my day actually starts and I'm tired till around 12 p.m. or 12 a.m. Yeah. Sorry, my bad. I'm t- I'm tired till 12 a.m. and then when th- when I really am in front of my canvas is when I wake up. I got you. I got you. So, I yeah. I, I like I said I listened to John's episode with you again to try and get a, a grasp of I didn't want to rehash the same questions that he asked you. but yeah. it is it's been a while since you spoke with him and one of the things that caught me that intrigued me from the start of his episode is he asked you about basically your feelings on the art you do and you 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 mentioned that you were kind of not necessarily getting bored with it but it was kind of it seemed like you were falling out of love in a sense um like it became too much of work so i want to know if that's that's changed it seems like that's changed i hope that's changed and that you've i guess reignited the passion 
No, I, I, uh, did I say that? Fuck, I don't remember, man. Maybe <laughs> I was in, yeah, maybe I was in that mood at that time, you know? Yeah, yeah, maybe yeah. Maybe I was, yeah. But, but since I've been painting a lot these days, I am back to where I find exactly the type of who I am while yes. I paint. So, uh, I mean, at that time, maybe, so I was, when I did this interview with John, I was in the, uh, my farmhouse in Lonavla, mm-hmm. which is in the countryside, uh, you know, two hours away from Mumbai. Okay. So, uh, and uh, what I've understood from this is that I need people around me when I mm-hmm. want to paint. And yeah. due to COVID, I have nothing, you know, I have mm-hmm. a little bit, but I need to stretch them out. I need to get more out of them. I can't have a daily, you know, hello, good morning. Yes. What do you yeah. eat for dinner? No, I can't, I can't do that. I can't paint fucking, you know, like eggs and curry or the kitchen that I see every day. I yeah. can't do that. So I need to pull out more. So in Lunavla, I was isolated for a couple of months when I was yeah. there and I had that interview. But now I'm back to normal and I feel like I need, you know, I paint noise. I don't paint yes. music. I, yes. I was, yeah. Like I said, I'm, I must have said this earlier also. So I was in a lot of beauty and I like mm. to keep that beauty with me. Yeah. And when I have noise around me, I like to take it out. I like to get that reflected off me so that yeah. I am at peace by myself. Yeah, that's another thing that definitely intrigued me since me and you have been going back and forth is you, your paintings, your art, your sketches, very chaotic, right? Yeah. Uh, very out there, very wild. <clears throat> my, my wife says it's nightmares. Uh, the sketch, the sketch here, I can't have in the bedroom. She says, oh, like, bring us nightmares and whatnot. Fuck, I'm, I'm sorry, man. <laughs> I'm not <laughs> either. I love it. Tell her I'm a nice guy with nice dimples, man. I'm a cute fan, dude. <laughs> right? Don't worry See? about it. <laughs> exactly. Dimples, yes. <laughs> <laughs> but one of the things that intrigued me is while your art is one way, the music you oh. listen to is very calming, very soothing. Yeah. Um, so I, I wanted to know, because, you know, she mentioned nightmares is your imagination what you see? Like, like, do you have nightmares and it's kind of evolved into like you'll see figures kind of like your art? Man, um, I can't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, uh, see, if I was, if I, I paint at night so yes. that I am more in my subconscious, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. If I was in the day, I am very aware of what is happening. Okay. okay, I am aware, but I am also not aware, and I am in a sleepy mode. So yes, yes. that your what what your wife has said is very true because mm-hmm. I don't sleep in the right time, and I don't get enough sleep is why I am so subconsciously moved by what is happening in my yes. mind. So if you see uh, any like I have seen this about uh, Dali, and if I was I was uh, going through his documentary, and he said that he used to paint while and he used to get up in the middle of the night and paint so that he could paint his dreams. He could yeah. be in more in a subconscious state. Yes. Yes. Right. So so I mean yeah man. So um, uh, women are always right, dude. What else can I say? <laughs> right. You, you're, you're not lying there. That's for sure. Um. So, so you, you paint to calm yourself and, and I guess get the visions out. With, like if you're walking down the road or, or walking through the streets of Mumbai or, or wherever, do you see something and like you, I, do you like paint mental sketches of what you're going to do when you get home? No. So what I, what I believe in is a moment of mm-hmm. when I do my work. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't gather my past if i want to do something yes my i might do it on the road somewhere but i would never get that sketch and get it in onto the painting that i'm going to do at night you know my life has changed to where i was in the day and now where i am at night i want to make a moment with my painting i don't want to Mm -hmm. take a moment and make it my painting okay i got you yeah you you mentioned as well how you can paint waterfalls and all that normal, you know, what I, I guess a, a majority of people would call art and paint, right? The the beauty. Yeah. But yeah. you'd like to keep that to yourself, right? You don't yeah. really exhibit that. So yeah. do you actually have stuff like that? I mean, uh, I do. I, no, I don't have stuff like that. I have obviously in the start of painting. Mm-hmm. So it all started when I was 18 years old. It was yes. never... Yeah, it was never a thing when I was a child. 
so when i when you start painting you always reflect on what is on the internet first so yes. if you go to yeah if you go to google and if you start uh, typing painting or you know for to mm-hmm. copy something you always get portraits and like you know black oh, and yeah. white some some or some of the you know the how do you call it the sunrise sunset same, yeah. mountains exactly yes. exactly so so of course i've done that of course mm-hmm. so and then when you go to college you know when, when you go to art school uh as i joined you start mm-hmm. from uh, you start from scratch basically mm-hmm. and uh, then there is no tweak in the uh, art uh, the the way they want to teach you how to communicate yeah. so it's always like maybe if i wanted to draw a ear you know of a man that mm-hmm. felt like an embryo embryo or you know anything like if you see whatever you want to see if you start doing that they'll be like what are you doing man like this is not what you're here for what are you doing there is no there, there needs to be a certain kind of process where people learn how to make other people creative and that mm-hmm. is when i stopped i i stopped uh, my phones i i gave my phones to my parents i didn't have anything for three and a half years i had no contact with all of my friends they could call yeah. my parents if they wanted to get in touch with me so only because i don't get influenced I got you. So what I yeah. So three and a half years, I didn't have any phone, nothing, no internet. Okay, mm-hmm. and then that is when I really took to my point, and I started having my own style. If I can call it my own style, maybe yeah. people can will still refer it to other things. But you know, I mean, that's a that's human nature, right? There are uh, alphabets from A to S. Yeah. There are there are do re mi fa sol la ti do. You can't go beyond that. You yes. will be in the same. You will be in the same circumference or whatever. At the end of the day. but mm. you need to understand where exactly and you need to be satisfied with what you do if mm. you want to do shit you can do shit and be satisfied by it but if you really want to like be unique and do something that is created through the canvas and not through what's happened mm. and what your internet is showing you and if you so picasso has said this quote called great artists uh, don't uh, copy uh, they, sorry he yeah. said uh, Yeah, the great great artists don't copy; they steal something like that, right? Yes, I I, I, I remember been, something yeah. like that. Yeah, and some and people have taken it to another dimension, saying that oh man, I copied it, but instead of the moon, I put a sun. That means yeah. that I yeah, I didn't copy; I stole it. I stole mm. it. What Picasso is really trying to say is, in in looking at something, you know, look at what. look at how you would look at that thing yeah you steal you steal from everywhere man you mm. steal from all around the world dude and yeah. like the only thing is that you need to steal in a way that is bound to be natural towards you i i can listen to you all day i'll just say that right now no, i can listen that, to man. you all day. <laughs> <laughs> um but that that's one another thing that made me laugh and i told my wife it before uh we got on the day is you you spoke when you were talking with John about one of your art teachers he gave you an assignment and said draw you know draw what you feel your 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 interpretation yeah. of the world and you did that and he failed you and you're like what the fuck yeah. like this is what you asked for no, I, 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 i mean I, yeah exactly i was like, like what the fuck because i knew this is going to happen but yeah. i'm like i will uh, yeah i am going to i that's the first time i ever followed something a teacher said he said do yeah. whatever you want i did it and i then i feel that's that's the thing man that is um i was never good uh, academically i was yeah. uh, i was yeah man i was good at uh, so when you used to get the class newspapers i used to draw a little bit on it yeah. and other than that man the schooling system or anything like that they should start having a class called life and i wish i, I could take it so when you were growing up then before you know painting artistry sketching anything was ever in your mind what did you want to do if you if you had to say man uh, you know people have a lot of dreams as children man yeah i i i just wanted to be happy dude like i i i shouldn't want to let, you know I, there is a there is a okay let me just get it out i mean i haven't had the best childhood mm-hmm. but you know in in the circumstances of a child wanting to do something i just wanted everything around me and every person around me to be happy yeah that's what i wanted so when i can think of something yes maybe i had a thought that I, okay yes i would become an astronaut but that's yeah. bullshit because everybody every child wants to yes. become a fucking astronaut right yes. so that Very was true. just also following the crowd in what i would want to be even at that time 
so and yeah. i never thought it was possible and then after that man there was i was just so in i was just so involved in family life that mm-hmm. i didn't really give a fuck about what is going to happen to me i just wanted to like i don't know be happy man if if you don't mind me getting a little personal here um because your family's you come from a pretty prominent family over there in india right Uh, yeah so so would you would you say that part of the reason for just wanting to be happy because i know your dad pushed you or or he 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 loved your art he he pushed you to to follow it because he liked it so that's awesome right there He, he he saw you had a talent he wanted you to follow it and now you're in love with it but would you say like before like you were probably more geared, like they wanted you to go through the family business because your dad's an actor, your mother's an actor. Um, yeah. So, so would you say like they were kind of gearing t- when you were younger, anyway, no, before eighteen, no, no. that you were gearing, you, they were trying to push you more towards that, or no, no, they weren't trying to push me towards anything. In fact. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, whenever I used to come home saying I failed or anything like that, they never used to make it a big deal. So okay. once I, uh, so what happened was, and so what happens is, I, I yes, I used to love to study till the third or fourth, fifth standard. Okay. After that, it just started getting so monotonous and mm-hmm. life just started getting so boring. Yes. And, you know, I needed to enjoy myself, man. I was yes. like, what, what was happening? Right. And I'd rather stare at a girl across the classroom. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm not being, uh, yeah, you know, who's pretty. Then fuck, look at this teacher who's teaching us shit that I don't give a fuck about. Man. <laughs> and so, yeah, man. So, and then, then I used to start, you know, scribbling on a piece of paper or something yeah. like that, man. And uh, no, man, never, never pressure from my parents to uh, okay. do something they wanted me to do. But I mean, of course, every parent uh, gives a lot of, uh, you know, they have a lot of concerns about their children's career. Yeah. And oh, yeah. It's, of course, not the best career to take, especially with what is happening around in the world. Right yes. Now. But, yeah. but when, when people like you or people, you know, who are, who are more established, who are, who are, who are you know, as you say, uh, people who have more money or whatever it is, man, mm-hmm. or who have more, you know, if this, if you, if, if they call your parents and they tell you how good I am, you know, it, it reaches to them. Yes. You know, if a normal, yes. yeah. And and that's what's been happening with me. So I've been very lucky in that sense. That, that out of the right. blue, my parents get calls and say, they, they you know, they tell them that I am, I am really good. Don't let him stop. They, yes. I, I remember when I couldn't sell a painting when I was 19, 20 or whatever. Mm-hmm. I couldn't sell a painting and uh, someone called my dad and said, listen, you need to buy all his paintings mm-hmm. because you can't let this boy stop. Yeah. If I yeah. had your parents' number, I would call them up right after. I would call them up right now. Oh, for like, sure, man. I'll make you talk to my daddy. Love you. <laughs> <laughs> um, but that that's awesome. I do love that. Because I think even even sometimes with me, with this podcast, I do. I get in a rut sometimes, you know. And I'm like, eh, yeah. should I keep going? Should I stop? And then either I'll talk yeah. to my wife or I'll have a guest that just like, this is why I do it, you know. And definitely... Yeah getting this and just wanting to get you on as early as I could oh, to talk about this. Cause I wanted anyways, I wanted our episode to be the first one where I put this up and it actually turned out to be that. So I'm grateful of that. Um, Thank you. But in terms of the art as well, especially when you started out and I, I'm sure you get it. Cause I, I can't draw for shit. I'm not artistic. No, in that, in that I, even I can't man. You're, you're, you're phenomenal. Um, but did you, and did it, did it hurt you? Cause I'm sure there were, cause art critics sometimes are assholes. Like the ones who like, that's their profession, right? Of an art critic that go around the galleries and all that kind of crap. Did it sting when you would have someone look at, you know, something you put a lot of effort into and something that you enjoyed and you liked. And they said, oh, that's crap or all that shit. Nah, man. So, uh, I mean, uh, as if I can say as a failure in school, man, you know, Mm. you get judged a lot. Yeah. Right. So you need to gather that strength from when you are young. Mm -hmm. So when you have that around you and if Mm. you're getting like, say, uh, uh, I in math, I got around three on hundred. Right. 
Oh yeah, I and hate I knew man. how to make yeah, and I yeah. I knew how to make fun of myself, dude. Yeah. So uh, yes. at the end of the day, at the end of the day, now I am so self-aware about mm-hmm. how good I am, how bad I am, what people are doing, what people aren't doing, because yeah. of those three and a half years that I had without any internet, without any connections, mm-hmm. right? Because because but you have to put yourself in a space where you are going to understand what is true and not true. You can't yeah. be out in the world saying that oh fuck you know you can't you can't be watching a billion things and saying okay I was different from that. You have mm. to you have to I'm sorry you have to be in a bubble then break mm. your bubble. That's what I think. I I think I understand that because I know with me like throughout school. I did okay. Like I only did enough to pass because like you, yeah. I was bored with it. So I, I never pushed myself. I did enough to graduate and that was about it. And like, if you ask, if you ask my wife, I'm, I have a pretty strong ego. I'm very egotistical, but I also yeah. know when I fuck up, you know, like if yeah. I make a mistake, I'm cool with it. No, I, sure. I can admit to it. Um, but if you ask me how I think about myself, I think very highly of myself. Um, yeah. <laughs> which I think is fine. And it's, it's, it's a good, it's a healthy habit to have as long as you're aware where your faults are and you admit to your mistakes. I feel you can have the biggest ego in the world as long yeah. as you admit when you make a mistake. Cause when, true. if you don't do that, that's when you become a narcissist and you don't believe in real shit. No, right. True, true. Yeah. Um, so I, I, I still want to ask you, i one thing I want to know is if you look at the art scene today, like around the world, you know, there's, I don't even know how many genres of art, you know, like, I wouldn't even know really what to call yours besides badass and awesome. And <laughs> it's, it's, that, something. That's good it's, enough. it's something, right. <laughs> but there's a whole lot of that, like there's modern art shit. Yeah. I don't even know, but oh. Is there some art? Because I know I'll look at some art pieces that like hit the news, and I'm like, "How the fuck is that art?" You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, like the book, yeah, hundred yeah. you know? percent, man. Yeah. So, so I, I want to pull up if you don't mind. I want to get your thoughts on some pieces. That so, man, all, 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 I, all I can say as humbly with my ego in place as well, yes. saying that I, I have no intellect to understand that shit. That's okay. it. Yeah, that's it, dude. Like, I don't want to. I don't want to say that. Oh, for how the fuck is that art? Yeah. But I want to say that. Yeah. All I can say from myself, from my perception about of it, is that I have no intellect to understand that. That's, that's it. fair. I think. I think that's fair and that's honest. Cause yeah, like I'll look at stuff and I won't get it, but then I can look at yours and I have some understanding yeah. of it. So yeah. that's fair. I think that's okay. I- I'm okay with that. Cause like, you sent me like five or, or maybe seven different um, paintings yeah. of yours. Yeah. yeah, And they were all different. A lot of them was very, you know, scratchy looking, very eclectic. Yeah. And you had some colors. But this one, this one stuck out to me. And because one of the things I like about how you describe your art is you don't name really any pieces, right? Okay. I don't, yeah. But so for me, and I think I mentioned it to you, I love like pizza. I have a pizza <laughs> tattoo. I have pizza shirts. Fuck, I'm looking um, at pizza now. Right? So yeah, yeah, yeah. When, I, when I see that, I see this is me yeah. with the pizza. And you see this guy's bone sticking out. Yeah. So I'm seeing it as I'm fighting off this guy trying to steal my pizza. <laughs> pizza. That is me. <laughs> That is one hundred percent me. <laughs> and so I did have a fight uh, about food with my girlfriend, and yeah. then I painted this. So yes, man. Boom. So that, that is that is grated cheese, though. <laughs> so we were fighting on something where I had yeah. to do something. So like, uh, I think I had to grate the cheese or something, and I didn't do it or something yeah. like that. And I went to the and that this is exactly what I'm talking about. I needed something out of so we, we were living together during uh, COVID. Yeah. And uh, 
uh, it was just me and her man for like three and a half months, and yeah. I needed something out of it, you know. I really, yes. and this is my painting that I made after I think one month that really caught mm. on. So all of it is mostly scribbles, and mm. suddenly, in a moment of anger, you look at your canvas and you start seeing these figures yeah. fighting with each other, and you yeah. just pick up the brush, and in one second, it's just done, dude. Exactly. And then, when when she saw this, she stopped fighting with me. <laughs> which is the most beautiful part the second she saw that i made this in i think it, i think it took like 5 minutes because there was already a lot of scribbles around yeah you know everything was really it was if you see the painting everything was made already it was just yeah. that i i made the background Mm -hmm. the background is the uh, the uh, gray and i did the uh, say crimson red which is at the back of the people and then i just made the foot i just put some blocks yeah. on the like toes or whatever and it just happened man and she was so amazed by it she's like fuck it dude i'm not fighting with you <laughs> after this <laughs> yeah i like that i like that a lot um and, and i know i asked you that one time uh, about any other avenues of artistry that you've dabbled in? Like I asked you about sculpture or like any type of clay stuff. Is that something, because I think you said you played with it a little bit. Is that something yeah. you feel you might like do more in the future? Because I'm curious at seeing well, your, your sketches and your paints, I'm curious as to what so, that would turn out for you. Yeah. So uh, I'll I'll tell you a story, okay? So I was stuck in uh, Kashmir. You know, Kashmir is a place in India. Okay. And uh, at that time, there were floods in Kashmir. Okay. And floods till the level of four stories. Okay, three or four stories. Okay. And every house in Kashmir is four or three stories, nothing yeah. more than that. So we had to basically climb mountains, get out somehow, find a place there. And yeah. then there were lines and lines, you know. So there were helicopters who were going to come and evacuate us. Oh, but yeah. before that, there were lines. Lines, I mean, by three days to get to the spot where you needed to get out from. So uh, in that sense, what happened was that there was this kid and his parents told them that you are on a picnic. Mm -hmm. And, and I was wondering, I was saying that, dude, I am stuck in such a place. I need to express myself. How do I do it? How am I supposed to do this, man? I have no paints, no canvas. I looked yeah. at the boy the next day, okay? The next day I looked at the boy. He found a piece of cardboard. Mm -hmm. He found a branch and he started spitting on the piece of cardboard and started scribbling and yeah. started painting. And that was so inspiring, yeah, you know, if you want to create, man, do the sculpting, watercolor, yeah. you know, a uh, paint or anything. An artist will create out of anything, man. Yeah. And as Picasso has said again, is every artist, every child is an artist, and mm -hmm. that is when I got to know that I need to start going back to life and becoming my child version again. Yeah. So that I can understand exactly what I want to do, how I want to do, no inhibitions at all, and that was very inspiring, man. That was one of the best moments I've like. That's one best moment. I wish I could capture that. It yeah, was beautiful. Yeah, I, I get that because like I'll look at my son. I have a six-year-old. Yeah. And when he was two, maybe even three, we we'd be at a restaurant. They'd have like little blocks, right, to, for the kids to play with. And he'll be he'll put together this building, and I'm like, <laughs> that that like to <laughs> me. It, Right, like it would, it would just catch me off guard because he would do it in a way I, it looked so yeah. cool. And I'm like, you're two or three, like how are you able to do this? And even even yeah. now, like when he plays with Legos or he loves playing Minecraft, and he'll build some awesome houses, buildings, castles, you know. And I'm like, buddy, where did where did you figure that out? He's like, ah, oh, yeah, you know, he yeah. just starts doing it, and it's yeah. so cool to me. For I, I, I watch him build these things. And like, he'll come to me, hey, daddy, you know, do you, do you want this kind of house, that kind of house? So I'm like, yeah, I want this kind of house. And, you know, 30 minutes later, I have, you know, whatever that house is that I asked for. Yeah. And it's, it's just beautiful. so cool. Yeah. It's yeah. just so awesome. Um, yeah. So I, one question, it's, it's another personal question, but I'm curious specifically because of the type of art that you seem to do. I have to ask, do you do drugs? <laughs> no. Okay. So you just have this. So place. I, I, I drink for sure. Yeah. I, uh, I smoke cigarettes, but I mm -hmm. don't do any kind of drugs, man. 
So you just, you, this is your mind is just, it's yeah. already I don't out there. Need drugs, man. No, yeah, I yeah, don't yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, a lot of people look at me, whether it be for the, you know, the goatee or the way I act or something. They're like, do you do drugs? So I was like, no. Like, this no, is just, man. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just naturally high as hell all the time. Yeah. Always out there, you know, doing, doing or talking some kind of crazy shit. But um, have you ever, do, do you do like self portraits or portraits of people? I know you said that's kind of how you started. Yeah. So is that something? So I, I, I've, I started painting because I fucking love Jennifer Aniston, man. I used really? to love her. Yeah. So I started, I started hey. trying to sketch her. Yes. So I started trying to sketch her and it never came out to be Jennifer, but it yeah. always turned out into different shapes and figures, you know, her, her eyes became fish, her, her ears became butterflies. And suddenly yeah. I just started getting so involved that I said, oh, fuck, I was trying to draw Jennifer. What happened here, man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, big credit to Mrs. Jennifer Aniston, man. I would love to meet her some, sometime and that, give her a that's, portrait. That's cool. But, I like uh, that. Yeah. Yeah. So that's how it really started, man. So, yeah, man. So, portraits I do. I do for practice for sure. Yeah. And uh, there is a time in life where uh, sometimes you just try to be extremely... So, this creative block is yeah. is, is 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 very true. Okay. Yes, and yes. Uh, I, when I started, I was like, okay, whatever. But you need to scribble yourself out of the block. Mm -hmm. You can't mm -hmm. wait for your, uh, your, your, you know, your peak of imagination to come back. Yeah. You need to... You need to take out what you are feeling at that time. And if you are feeling a block, create a block, paint a block, scribble it out. You know, that's the yeah. only way it's going to leave you. So in that, and then I scribble, I scribble, I scribble. And then when that's when a new piece comes out. So, um, yeah. Thank you to Mrs. Jennifer Aniston for. Oh yeah. Everything that she's done. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll agree with you on that one. I'll agree with you on that one. <laughs> yeah. Cause I, in the John, in the interview with John, you did, you, you spoke about your writer, you know, the artist block and you'll have your sketches are like 50 something percent just scribbles. Yeah. Yeah. So w when you when you're trying to fight through that block and trying to scribble it out, do you and when you finally breach it, do you ever like go back to a scribble and let's say a day later or a week or a month later and then you see something in that scribble? Yeah. Yeah. So what I do is mostly, mostly, most probably, I always go back to my scribbles mm -hmm. to create something. Like yeah. this painting was kept uh, behind you. That yes. that was a scribble kept. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that was a scribble kept for about a week or two. Yeah. Yeah. And then suddenly for five minutes, I got yeah. some inspiration from somewhere and it happened. So that's, yes, that happens very often. Yeah, because I know I used to write a lot. I still kind of do. But I used to write a whole lot when I was in uh, grade school and I would write and I would, you know, get a writer's block. So I would stop. But a week or so later, I would figure out where I wanted to go. So I never threw that that piece away. I always just kept it and just look at it every day and see if something comes yeah. back or, or, or yeah. I'm able to continue. it. And usually I did. So I wanted to ask you about that for sure, because I wasn't I didn't know if you were one of those like, ah, oh, you know, crumple it up and throw it away types. You know. throw it away man if if that is what you feel do yeah. whatever you feel yeah man why not why not why not then you can open it up some other day don't throw it don't put it in the garbage yeah. if you want yeah, to yeah, do yeah. it but like yeah it's always it's always good to express yourself at the moment if mm -hmm. you're feeling frustration is the only way to take it out is to take it out okay so then i, I would imagine that you probably do you work on multiple pieces at a time or you just try and focus on one till, till it's done? So what happens is that most of the time, man, uh, my, my palette is what I really am doing. That's what I feel. Mm -hmm. Whatever I have done or whatever I'm doing right now is still consciously me. What mm -hmm. I'm doing on the palette or what I'm doing across it. So I have my palette is my whole room. Okay. It is basically my whole room. So I just put it everywhere. So what is really happening is on the other side. This is still a facade of my work. Mm -hmm. So what is really happening is on the other side, which is, yeah, which is yeah, obviously always uh, repeated upon because it's a piece of wall or a mm -hmm. desk or something like that. So you can't uh, really make it art or anything like that. But I feel mm -hmm. that that is who I really am and not my paintings also. Yeah, I, I understand that. 
do you ever when you when you finish a piece and let's say it's like hung somewhere or someone buys it do you ever look at it and then like see something you wish you could have added or you just leave it be hmm uh, that has never happened to mm -hmm. me because i would never want to sell a work that is that i think is incomplete that has never yeah. happened maybe right now if i see it and say oh sh i should have done something to it but mm -hmm. whatever i've sold till date has never been wanted like i've never wanted to change it till now okay okay yeah i got you the john speaking of john shout out to john real quick um he wanted me to ask you about and i think he mentioned it with you a little bit he wanted to ask you about the art scene in Mumbai, right? Yeah. Or I guess India in general. Um, and I was yeah. I was looking at some stuff before we got on, and you guys have this Project Eighty Eight. Is that is that something you're aware of? Yeah, Project Eighty Eight is uh, basically uh, I think it's an art gallery. I'm not mm -hmm. very aware of it, but yeah, somewhere or the other. So. <clears throat> Do you, because I, I know you mentioned about you felt there's a lot of culture in India, in Mumbai, but you kind of seemed to come off as you didn't feel there was a lot of art in Mumbai. Yeah, I mean, you need to take art as, uh, I mean, culture is beautifully there, mm -hmm. but we are also westernizing ourselves. Mm -hmm. right now we are forgetting our roots all we have is in india all we have is who we were and who mm -hmm. we are and our culture so if that starts going and if everyone starts fucking buying gucci bags and you know louis vuitton and shit yeah. like that dude who are we who are we yeah. if we're going to follow america if we're going to follow whatever you know first mm -hmm. world countries who are we there are no yeah. there, there's nothing known about uh i mean there are there are there are so many of my friends who just like talk about their bags and their yeah. wallets and their you know and it's 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 pretty frustrating man at the mm. end of the day and like um yeah dude like um at least buy indian products you know at the end of the day i got you but, you know, yeah yeah because i know when i started doing this podcast and reaching out to people across the world you know, I thought I had a general understanding of the world outside of America because, you know, we, we do learn world history to an extent in, in school. But I realized when I, I had a previous episode with a young man from Lucknow in Uttar Pradesh, uh, Umvesh, Umvesh mm. Umapadye, shout out to him. He's, he's a brilliant, brilliant young kid. And in looking into that, I, I, I got upset that a lot of the stuff, like the culture, the structures, the buildings, you guys have incredibly ornate, intricate, superbly detailed temples and ruins, buildings from like way back in the day. And I remember looking at this stuff and I, I got upset that I never learned about it when I was younger, right? I, I guess... You know, in the States, you know, we learned about obviously London and what's, you know, over in the UK, because yeah. that's where we came from and all that kind of stuff and about their yeah. architecture and whatnot. But I'm looking at this stuff over there in India. And I'm like, this is so much better. <laughs> this is yeah. so much incredibly intricate stuff that I don't even want to guess how many years some of the temples you guys have and incredibly well preserved. Yeah. super superbly well preserved which also caught me off guard because i figured you know throughout the years you know invasions wars and whatnot usually a lot of that stuff gets destroyed and i'm sure that has been the case for for some spots you guys have but i definitely saw the culture and and, and the the ancient artistry architecture and i was blown i'm still like well, i'll look at stuff i'm still blown away yeah that that's a thing over there and it's uniquely indian it's very yeah. uniquely True. indian and True. Ev even comes to your music i've listened to some of the music like like some of the stuff you know me and you have sent to each other um yeah like you can have it playing and i'm like i, I wonder if that's from india like you have that flavor i guess you can say that yeah. indian flavor yeah. that kind of just points directly to that's probably coming from over there um 
So yeah, but that's very true, man. I would I, that that is the flavor I'm trying to find, though. Mm-hmm. That is uh, that that flavor is what I'm trying to find in my art as well. It's mm-hmm. not come yet, you know, the mm-hmm. personal Indian flavor. I don't think it's come yet, mm-hmm. but uh, honestly, that is what I'm trying to find. So so you're you're still trying to evolve, or, or, or of course, of course, yes, every day, yes. man. Have you every looked day. at? I, I know you said like when you sell a painting or something it, it kind of hurts because it's one of your pieces. So it's, you don't really have a favorite per se. If you get rid yeah. of anything, you'll miss it regardless. Um, yeah. But do you look at some of your old stuff, like some of your finished pieces and you not like it? Like, like at the time now you've matured to a point or your art has grown to a, to a point where you're like, ah, that's not, not for sure, man. That good. No, for sure. I paint, I paint, I'd rather, I, I do paint on uh, a lot of my old works. I keep mm-hmm. repainting and repainting yeah. and repainting. But I mean, uh, that's when my father comes in and says that, you know, this uh, obviously will have a certain kind of value. And mm-hmm. it also, most importantly, shows your growth. Yes, yes. Yeah, and you need to document your growth somewhere or the other. So do not keep doing that at the end of the day i would love to change them if i really get inspired by a piece and i know that i can create something so beautiful out of it then i change mm-hmm. it now other than that if i you know if, uh, portraits or any kind every uh, any kind of you know art that i did even sculptings or whatever sketches i yeah. i right now i'm leaving it at where they were and moving well, yeah. on to new pieces yeah i, I understand well Aditi, man, I've I've had an incredible time talking with you, and thank I, you, man. One you day, too. I'm I'm this wall coming to I'm, India and sitting in my house and painting with me. I would love to. Yeah, I yeah, would bro. love to. I can't draw any, or paint any for shit, time, but any any time, bro. Any any time. I, I would absolutely love to. Whenever we're able to travel again in the world, I would absolutely yeah. love to. I, India is definitely a. a big step i want to i want to travel to with everything i've seen oh you have to i i'm gonna you come down to mumbai and we'll travel together man sounds I'll great you I, I absolutely love it bro yeah. i have made the best friends through travel in india and mm-hmm. there's beautiful people from all over the world and you know people yes. who really want to look across and find themselves and take yes. themselves out of their comfort zone come to india mm-hmm. you know I, to I, travel alone yeah yeah and i'd I, love I to wait. have you over man I can't wait. I cannot wait. I know eventually me and my wife are going to get a bigger house. And yeah. I, I want, I want to say, I got all this blank space. I got all this <laughs> blank space. I'm, I'm going to send you one more, man. I need an original, like big ass Dance. something. And Dancer, 100%. I, I, I can't wait, man. You keep up doing everything that you do. Don't stop. Grow. Thank you, bro. And definitely, if you ever get into like sculptures or like m- more so than paintings, sculptures, clay stuff, anything like that, I want one of those as well. Um, I, 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 I fucking love your work. I ain't gonna, I, I love your work. Your, your mind is very, you, it's hard to describe besides chaotic. I like yeah. the word chaotic, but it's controlled chaos, I guess I can say controlled yeah. chaos I, I'll, I'll stick with I that because it comes out to something that i'm like even the sketch right now i'm every time i look at it i kind of see something new that i didn't see yeah. before you know so even that you, your, your pieces grow with me but i love it i hope you have yourself a good night you're going to do some awesome badass painting here in like a few minutes i'm sure and man, I- I'll talk to you again sometime. Is there anything you want to promote? Anything you got? Any show you got coming up? Anything? No, man. I'm good, dude. And uh, I just want to say thank you for, uh, I mean, whatever you've done and like uh, all these interviews or whatever that you're taking and from wherever you've come and like how you found me is incredible. And thank you to like, just for you to appreciating my work, man. Oh yes, I I love it. I'm um, hopefully now more people are gonna see it, and somebody out there get with him, buy some of his work. the The fucking guy's amazing. The guy got some badass shit. Um, <laughs> I guess. But, man, Aditi, you you have yourself a good night over there. I I appreciate you. You too, man. Take care of yourself, bro. I love you and your family. Give them All my right. love. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No problem.
You have a good one, man. Yeah. And and put your put your uh, put my painting in your room, man. There no nightmares gonna come after that. Don't worry. <laughs> I'll see what I, I'll try and sneak it in. <laughs> I'm all right, right. You take care see, of yourself. See you, buddy. Thank you. No problem. Good night. Good night.